Hello, David Dominessa here. I wanted to show you some of the tools that I use to hold work in the drill press. Here in front of us now we have this little baby machinist vise. It is about two and a half inches jaw width there. I like this vise because it is ground and flat and square on the sides. You can hold work like that, like this, maybe even that way. You may have a rod that you want to drill on the end. You can hold it in the vise like that. You could also cross drill it, holding it like that. You can put work in this vise and put it in a larger vise. Works good for that. Magnets in the shop are nice and all, but if you get it close to anything, it has a tendency to magnetize it. Don't you just hate it? When your sterret rule becomes magnetized and picks up chips all over the place. We gotta fix that. And so in comes the demagnetizer. This is an old, cheapy, garbage, six-inch grinder. We tore it apart, and now we just have the motor. But it works perfect for a demagnetizer and a magnetizer. So here's our stare at rule, and it's full of chips. We'll collect the chips down here on the paper, so we can test it in a minute. So we turn the motor on. Your duty cycle is maybe 30 seconds or so before it'll start smoking. Turn it on. We'll pull our ruler in. Pull it out slow. And now let's give it a check. Here's our shavings. Perfect. Now we could demagnetize the ruler again by sticking it on the side of the motor like that, holding it there, turn the motor on, turn it off, then pull it out. And we should be demagnet we should be magnetized like there's no tomorrow. There's all the chips. Look at that. Now we gotta demagnetize again. The magic of science. You just gotta love it. Now that our stare at rule has been demagnetized, let's see what else we use to hold work in the drill press. Here is our Heinrich Quick Vice. This is the 3 inch version. It's called the 3SV. Look at that. Running on hardened and precision ground rods there. Open it, put your work in, close it, and lock it down. When you pull this lever and cam down, the movable jaw moves about 330 seconds. You can just see it there if you look careful. Watch here. See it move? And that apply, applies several hundred pounds, even more the bigger the vice is, to your work. And that is adjustable on the bottom, right here. There's a little oil port here, and that is the 3, 3SV, right there. Some ears hanging out on each side for clamping if you wanted to. Great for putting some 420 in. And then lock it in. Drill. Put another piece in. Thing of beauty. Of course, this is just a three inch vise, and we wouldn't want to be putting work like that in it. It has built in step jaws in it, and that's actually where we would be putting our work. Right about like that. These jaws are all beat up, and I need to make some new ones. 
but we got to get the surface grinder going first. Can you see that? Look what somebody's done. Not being careful. But these are easy to make. So we're going to make some new ones. Why spend $40 when you can make them yourself? So there's the Heinrich 3SV. There's the little baby machinist vice. Let's see what else we have. Don't discount the usefulness of an old 6-inch milling vise. Long since lost its value for the mill in all practical terms. This old Victor out of Boston, 6-inch milling vise, great for the drill press. I need to make a handle for this one, but I have my Chinese handle. Not much of a jaw opening, and a pain to sit here and open. Isn't that a pain? Pain, pain, pain. But it does work, and I do use it on my 15 inch drill press. I'll show you that in a minute. And because it's so heavy, oh, that's heavy, it makes a good drill press vise. Holds your work stable. Let's see what else we have. Well, there's always the Heinrich Model 33 pneumatic vise. It's useful. Got a nice foot pedal here. Activate, deactivate. Little jaws. That's a three inch vise. Built in little ratchet here. This is not a vise that's made for doing a lot of multiple jobs one after another. It's more of a pr production vise for one setup. You set it up and work all day long. So use this little, this little ratchet here. See that? That's how you open it. Or you flip the tab, go the other direction, close it to the distance you need, put your work in, get it almost closed up on the work. I would say like that. And when you push the pedal, it locks it in. Put the pedal the other direction, opens it up. So in and out. Lock, drill, open, out. Work in, lock, drill, unlock, out. Back and forth you go. Let's hook it up to some air, see what it does. All right, we've got some air hooked up to it. We put our work in, we step on the pedal. Now it's locked. Put the pedal the other direction. Open. Lock. Open. So you can imagine the practical value in a production environment for multiple jobs. You may have to drill hundreds of these during the day. You can machine your own jaws and put them in there. This one doesn't have any jaws in it because they were so beat up I threw them away and I'm making new ones to fit in there. In, drill, so nice. And you can adjust the uh, vise as well, very similar to the others. The clamping pressure here is dependent on the amount of air in the diaphragm here, which is maxed out at 120. Model 33, Wonderful vice. I love it. All things Heinrich. Racine, Wisconsin. Solid gold. Let's see what else we have. All right. Now the big brother comes out. Here is our Heinrich 3 SV. And now the Heinrich 8 
SV. What a nice vise. Nice large opening. What is that? About 8 inches or so. 8 by 8. Incidentally, the 3SV is similar. 3 by 3. Quick acting, hardened, ground. Put your work in. Let's go find a piece to put in there and see what it's like. Got to make a new paperweight for your boss. Clamp it in there. Quick acting. Drill, 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 drill. Beautiful. I hope he likes it. Large opening in the bottom. It's relieved so that you can run your drill bit down through there. 3SV is the same. Got your oil port. And then on the bottom, your adjustment up in here. And that adjusts the force in pounds that is put upon the movable jaw when you activate can. Let's put these on our drill presses and see what they look like. 